Hello and welcome to episode two of the Pearl and Jane weekly vlog. Um, these are the design element of Pearl and Jane. So I'm chatting about the designs that I'm doing if you've missed episode one. Um, and as we're sort of getting into doing these vlogs or I'm getting into doing these vlogs, these first few are going to be designs that are coming up. Um, but as I do them hopefully they'll be showing you designs that are coming up and then designs that you can get right now obviously it depends when you're watching this so if you're watching this in a month's time hopefully these two designs will be available um but in the meantime if you're watching them as i'm um releasing them um streaming them <laughs> then um i've got to stop saying um then <laughs> That might be one of the things that might improve the more I do these. Um, and I've lost my train of thought now because I'm concentrating on not saying, not saying um. Mm -hmm. So last week I showed you how far I got with this one, which was just pieces. And this week it's done. I've sewn it up and I've done a, a few videos on that. I have already put one up on Instagram where I did the joining of the seam at the side. Um, and, and that is just to show you how easy it is to join a seam. So I know a lot of people want to knit things in the round or without seams, but seams are really good for creating structure. So I'm not saying that knitting in the round is bad, not at all. Um, but I'm just saying that knitting with seams creates structure and a different look, um, but something that hangs a little bit better differently we don't do better huh? that's one of my workshop things we never compare so it's not better it's just differently and with this one there's no picking up stitches around the neck or anything like that it's all knitted in we do a three needle cast off for the shoulder and then like i say at the side we've just got this one seam and i do the garter stitch mattress stitch joining which is really rhythmic and soothing because you're just going from one bubble to one bubble zigzagging across. I call the little lines a bubble and you get a really nice seam coming from the side. And yeah, while knitting is more enjoyable than sewing up, I, I don't dispute that. Um, sewing up can be satisfying. Um, so this is this where this has got to. So I've knitted the back, the front, and I've joined them together. I'm going to sew some buttons on. So I'm going to do some nice red buttons, maybe. I'll have a little look at the buttons, which are over there, <laughs> um, to see which ones look good. And now I've just got to sew in the ends. So when it comes to the ends, when it comes to sewing in the ends, I will use this end up here as a sort of reinforcement. So if you can see right at the end there, I don't know if you can see, but there's like the little, I call this a bobble. It's a little line of the garter stitch and I will just sew that up underneath that. So it's hidden away at the side and I'll come up and then I'll go down again just to really secure that in. So this, oh, and this is knitted in If you didn't see last week's episode or episode number one um this is knitted with two strands so one strand of this one strand of that which is your knoll mohair tweed and again um on six millimeter needles did i say that <laughs> um and it's just a really quick knit so i can't i just had the pieces last week didn't i and i just finished off the back neck um, so what we do is we knit this up so the edging is in it then we join the shoulders but we will continue with the back neck so that's the seven stitches there which are knitted across the back neck and then joined together with a three needle cast off and sewn down so with that one that's in pieces but I am also doing a version which is knitted all in one. 
well, as I said earlier in this video, that I like seams on things. I think that gives structure. I also appreciate that some people don't. So I'm doing a version. Oh yeah, I've, I've done the classic and I've, because I knit when I'm in the studio and if people come in, I will just pick up and put down. So that's why it's great to have it um, on a circular. So I've finished in the middle of the row, but that's the beginning of an end and the end. So it's on a circular needle, but I'm going backwards and forwards on it. So this is the same. This is this, but knitted with a strand of black instead. So this one, oh, there we go, was those two. And this one is with black. So it's still the same blue, but it sort of gives a different look. The other thing is as well, again, don't know if you can see on the video, is that the red and the green, which are in this blue, show up much more on the black, which is quite interesting. <laughs> So that, I hopefully will get a good chunk of that done this week. So in the meantime with this one, I am writing the pattern for it. Um, so that's been graded up. I just need to double check that and hopefully get a test knit done on that one. And then this one here, this one is a man's jumper, which has been on the needles for about two years, I think. So I designed this. Well, I actually designed this um, in 20, 2008, I think, uh, a version of this in a book that I did for the American market, um, which was all men's patterns. It was very successful at the time. <laughs> um, and it had a hood on it. But this is a version without the hood. And there's just like slight tweaks to it. And... Yeah, so this is the man's version. This I have been grading up this week as well um, because it was already written as a pattern, but I just tweaked it a bit more because um, times have changed, as it was, and how people uh, read patterns has changed as well. Um, so we're making it a little bit easier for people to follow, just a little bit because they were quite easy to follow in the first place, but just adding that little touch, that little finesse. Um, so I've been writing this pattern up and then trying to get the neckline right on each sizing. So this hopefully will be finished this week coming, and then that will be a new design out. This one um, might be the following, following that, following this one. So, because this one just needs a few more tweaks and things like that just to get it right. Um, yeah, so those are the two designs I've done this week. Um, and this is on my needles at the moment. Oh, I should say, what's on your needles this week? Do, 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 do. If you're a long time viewer and you watched the um, vlogs that we did in lockdown, you'll be familiar with that tune. Maybe I should start it up again. <laughs> so this is on my needles this week um, and I'll hopefully get, um, well you can tune in next week to see how far I've got with this. I'm hoping to get the, the top bit done as well and then um, I mentioned some other pattern ideas that I've got um, in my head so I need to fine tune those down to then do the next new designs after these okay thanks for listening if you've got this far <laughs> and yeah until next time <laughs>